Hey there, nerds. Sam here again. So at the time of filming this, the new Arcs of Omens boarding action rules are just one week away from launching. And after one, I'm very excited to try this new rule set using the Gavel Dark terrain. There's also a new terrain set coming out with this release that has the minimum amount of terrain needed, which is the equivalent of two of the Kill Team sets that were released late last year. I was fortunate enough to get a copy of the Shadow Vaults terrain before it sold out, and I need to get it painted up to add to the Galadark terrain that I already have painted from the new Kill Team starter set. So I thought I'd share my speed painting process for this terrain, which brings out some of the details on these pieces without going too overboard on everything. So to get started on this, after everything's all assembled, I went and primed everything with Mechanicus Standard Gray. And then I used Chaos Black for all the other uh, random bits, so those top caps and the uh, other pieces that can stick out of the walls. So then once everything's all primed, I'm going to make a black brownish wash out of acrylics. Just mixing up some really cheap craft paint. And then adding a, a drop of some flow improver. And then mixing the rest with water. So you may have to play with the water and flow improver and mix it up with a brush until you get the right consistency of a wash. Um, I had to water it down a little bit more for my taste. And then I like to grab a small piece and do a test just to make sure that the wash looks good. Making sure we get all in the nooks and crannies. And then just go through and apply the wash to all of our pieces. I also have a piece of uh, old box set out, which I have them laying to dry since the water is going to drip down and kind of create a mess, so keep that in mind. And then once everything's all washed, I set them up uh, right side up so that the water will flow down and kind of look natural and the, the darker areas will pool towards the bottom. And I had to leave this to sit overnight until everything was fully dry. Uh, but once it's dry, we can move on to the next step. So when that wash is all dry, it's going to look something like this. And then I'm going to pick out all the raised areas with some Celestial Gray as a dry brush. So I need my big makeup brush. Just gonna get some on the brush there. Spray it on my wet palette. Just gonna lightly flick across the surface. Going for all those raised panel areas. Now next up we're going to add some variation in color tone to some of the piping and the exposed metal parts. I'm using Lead Belcher. I'm just laying that on with a large base brush and a medium base brush. So I'm going to start by just applying it all over the door. Try to be as neat as possible, but also if it spills over onto the well, it's not the end of the world because it is a grimy, messy space hulk after all. And we can go back and touch it up later. Also, my philosophy with terrain is <clears throat> it's got to look good enough, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So all the attention should be on the models themselves and not the terrain. The terrain's just background. I'm also going to apply it to these vents up here. Down the side. The 
these little skull terminals. Just go ahead and cover that whole thing. And on the back side, um, <clears throat> gonna mix it up a little bit. Just gonna do lead belt around the skull terminal. Um, this little control box. And we'll do it on these cylinders. Some metal details down there. Um, this little control box. We'll pick out the main arch area here. These valves, dials. And then lastly, for lead belcher on this piece, we're going to do the tops. Now, because this kit comes with similar pieces, see this is the exact same piece, we can break it up by kind of switching up what gets painted what. So, so for example, this box on the left, it's painted with lead belcher, but Maybe on the second piece, that's the same. I'll paint these uh, pipes coming out of the box and we'll paint this a different metallic color. Similar with this big, huge pipe, we'll paint this lead belcher. Maybe these tubes get colored with lead belcher as well. For some two-tone color, we're gonna layer in some brass scorpion. Taking the brass scorpion, I'm just gonna go over the other metal areas. Just carefully touch those. Next, we're going to do some of the wiring that's dripping down with corn red and incubi darkness. So just thinning out some paint on my pellet, I'm going to take some corn red and just carefully go over one of these wires and just kind of follow it through the coil. doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, similarly, anytime you see wires going in and out of something, there's two of them, just alternate with the red and the blue. Like a perfect spot would be right here coming out of this power, or this, uh, this terminal coming down here. And taking the Incubi Darkness, doing the same thing. Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be a little pop of color. keep things interesting, what I'd like to do with the doors also is to use just some contrast paint. So I do tear down turquoise, military and green. You can also throw in reds. Um, like for example, here's one I did where it's a red door. So just adds a nice little touch of color and kind of breaks things apart from all the grays of the walls. So, so for example, this door will do in military and green. If you're giving it a good shake, I'm just going to focus on the inner panels of the door. And this is also okay to be not perfect. It can be kind of rough to look like the paint's been chipping away or that it's kind of worn.
And then just making sure we grab the other side of the door as well. And then taking some Corax white, I'm just going to go over and make sure I get all of the skulls. Just want to hit them with white. Also, any of these lights, I'm just going to dab them with white. It's important for the next step. Do you want to make things pop even more? Uh, what I like to do is take just a little bit of red and um, pick out the dials and some of the, the red buttons and switches. So it adds a little bit of contrast and um, kind of distracts from the sloppiness of the controls and things like that. Just a little red there. So all those lights that we painted white, I'm going to go over with some Casador Yellow Shade. It's just a real simple step to kind of make the lights look like they're glowing yellow. And then all the skulls, we're going to go over with Skeleton Horde Contrast Paint. And then when that's all dry, we're going to hide all our mistakes with some known oil. So this can just get liberally applied all over where there's metallics. And it'll just kind of blend the metal back into the background. Apply it all over the door. Kind of tone back that color. Get that dingy look. And also on the top. So while that's drying, I'll show you some of those things. Um, so using like orc flesh, it's a really vibrant bright green, or flesh tear is red, it's a very intense red. Uh, you can get some cool screen effects. Um, 
just doing right over. So I did lead belcher and then I did the contrast paint over that. Um, so you can kind of get some uh, display colors going on there. And you can see these two pieces are the same, but I just kind of varied up um, a little bit of what I colored the screens to get some variety. Um, so you don't really notice that they're the same piece um, when they're all on the board and put together. And there we have it, the final painted uh, yellow dark terrain. So hopefully you found this video helpful, useful, interesting. Um, if you liked it, leave me a thumbs up, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have more painting videos and battle reports and other hobby related content. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.